Welcome to Flow360 training webinars. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you'll find this session useful. Today we will be covering using filters and searches effectively. We will cover quick find functions from the start screen, using the filter panels from tab lists and full lists and learning what the difference is, how to repeat the last search, using the extend and reduce search options, and we'll look at simple and complex search operations for assets and resources, help desk issues, tasks, works, documents, messages, and contacts. So why use searches and filters at all? Well, it's faster than simply scanning a list. You can quickly find the records that you are specifically interested in. So you can use it to find a specific record or a subset of records to view in the current list and very often you'll do that as a precursor to creating a new report. And a future session will look at reporting in more detail. So let's start by looking at some of those quick find options that we get from the front screen. Underneath many of the buttons on the front screen, there's a text entry box. And this is the quick search, quick find function. Now we're going to do that first of all. We're going to use this by looking for some objects in the sites section, that is resources, assets, things in rooms and so on. So I'm simply going to click into the text entry box under the sites button and I'm going to look for kitchen three and I hit return on my keyboard and that immediately jumps me to the record for kitchen three because there was only one match. Let's go back to the start and just try that in a slightly broader context. So if I simply put in kitchen and hit return on my keyboard, that's going to match in this case with 81 locations or objects. So that you can see by being more specific about what you're looking for, you can find a particular object or location. On the other hand, if you want to get a set of objects that all have a similar name, then uh, using a slightly broader search works very well. I know in the system, in the demo, we have some Quinta boilers, for instance. And if I just type in Quinta, it simply lists those four boilers, confirming the locations of each. Let's go back to the front screen and try that a little bit more broadly. And let's type in alarm. Now, the alarm search will look for anything that has the word alarm in its name. So in this case, you can see we've got uh, we've got call alarms, we've got fire alarm call points, we've got alarm sounders, and you can see we've got many pages of this. And if we carry on scrolling through, we can see a whole load of different things, all of which have alarm in their name. If we want to go to the specific record for one of these objects, then we simply click the little go to button here to the left of its name, and that will take us to the record for that object itself. That quick find from the front screen also allows us to search amongst the custom data that we may have put into Flow360 linked to objects. Now, custom data can be pretty much anything, but typically it might be something like a manufacturer's name, a serial number, an ID tag of some sort, a key number, maybe a paint code, um, maybe a flooring code, maybe a date of installation, a warranty expiry date, any of those things can be searched using the extended search. And you can see here under the sites button, there's an additional tick box next to the search field. And if I tick that box and then type in something that is uh, looking for something very specific, in this case, I'm looking for a particular key number. So I'm going to type in the number of the key and hit return on my keyboard. And that has found in the custom data. So we're looking here at the custom data for the lock on the dining room of the ground floor of South Wing of Portsmouth Community College. And you can see here it's found that particular key number. Now, we can also use that uh, to find a suite of keys. So instead of putting in the specific key number, perhaps I just put in the initial uh, are numbers that identify the suite of keys. And again, hit return on my keyboard. And in this case, we've got 
three matches for that particular suite. Uh, let's have a look at one or two other things. Uh, one thing I can do is find objects, say, by manufacturer. So let's put in HP and search, and I can see I've got 48 matches across, in this case, multiple sites for things like printers, data projectors, uh, and so on. So again, it's a very useful way of finding a set of information that may be in multiple locations dispersed across one or more sites, and it allows you to locate those objects very quickly. So that's the quick find under the sites button. What do the other quick finds do? Well, under messages, for example, this will look for text. This will look for text in the summary or details of a message. So if I can remember that I had a message recently that I wanted to check that was to do with a window, and I type in the word window under messages, that's actually giving me a fairly significant set of messages. And of course, then I can sort the list by clicking on the date column and put those into reverse order so that I see the most recent one at the top. And maybe that was the message I was looking for, window cracked in study bedroom 12. And again, the go to button to the left of the list will allow me quickly then to go to that particular message, look at the detail of it, and maybe drill through because this was a, a fault report through the help desk and drill through to the issue record itself by clicking the button under the linked objects tab. So the quick find on messages works in that way. Let's go back to the start. We're now going to use the quick find to find a particular works reference. And if I click into the quick find text entry box under the works button and type in 553, for example, that brings me to a very specific works order by reference number. So that's a quick way of jumping to an order. Maybe you've had confirmation that the order just needs signing off. Uh, that's the fastest way to get there. If, on the other hand, I want to find a set of orders and, re and inquiries that all fall within the range with 55 in their name, then simply typing in 55 will bring me a wider set of matches. Now let's see what happens if we use the Quick Find under the Messages button to find a particular message. I can remember maybe that I received a message recently about a window being cracked. And if I type in window cracked and hit return on my keyboard, that brings me a list of messages that are, in this case, all to do with window being cracked. And if I click on the date column, I can sort those into order and bring the most recent one to the top. And I can see maybe that's the message I was interested in. And again, using the go to button will allow me to jump directly to the message. And in this case, maybe using the linked objects tab down here to link directly to the help desk issue that that message relates to. Now let's have a quick look at what happens if we use the quick search under the documents button. The quick search for documents is looking for text in the title or summary information about a document. So I know we have, for instance, a site context plan. If I simply type in context, uh, actually brings up two different site context plans and again we can use the go to button then to jump directly to the relevant plan and see that particular document. Back to the start and let's just try one more document search quickly. Maybe we're looking for um, a particular boiler schematics. So I simply type in schema and that brings me a single match and I can access my boiler schematics directly. Using the quick search from the front screen is very often the fastest way to find a particular document. Using the quick find function underneath the help desk button allows us to locate help desk issues, again, looking for text in the summary or details of the issue. So I know we had an issue about a leaking pipe and if I type in simply pipe, then it takes me to, in this case, only a one single match for that string. If I type in something a little bit more broad, window, I know we've had lots of issues about windows, and that brings me a list of all issues that relate to windows. Again, I can use the go to button here on the left to jump to a particular issue, or maybe I want to use the report button to produce a report breakdown now of all issues that relate to windows. Let's go back to the start. 
The Quick Find function under the Contacts, contacts button allows me to find contacts by name. So simply typing in Pete, for example, gives me a match of people with Pete in their name, either in their first name or last name. So we've also got some Petersons and Z Peters and so on. Uh, we can also use that Quick Find under Contacts to find people by organization. Uh, or company names, if I type in Flow360, that gives me four matches with people who belong to or are associated with Flow360 in some way. So the Contacts Quick Find is looking for names, uh, possibly address information as well, and also email address information. So if you type in part of an email address for somebody, it will locate that contact for you. The Quick Find function underneath the Projects and Contracts button is looking for projects or contracts by name. So I know we have some projects to do with heating refurbishments, and by simply typing in heating, uh, I can locate those projects and jump directly to the one that I'm interested in finding. So in summary, the Quick Find functions from the main start screen are often the quickest way to find something just by name or part of the name or in the case of sites a serial number or a reference number or a code of some sort. Obviously for more detailed searches we need to go in a little bit further and that's what we'll look at next.